Let's change some spark plugs, shall we? Yeah, buddy. All right, so first you gotta take this engine cover off. I'm using a 10 millimeter. These uh, nuts are a little tall, so it's um, it's gonna be only a partial fit. So if you happen to have a, a long socket, that'd probably be best, but this one still works. All right, broke free. All right, yeah, these things come off easily. tray here to put my parts in. Alright. I should just pop right off. Alright. And those are your uh, ignition coils for your spark plugs. So now we gotta take we gotta take these nuts off so we can pull these boots out. Same size, ten millimeter. Gonna take off this connector here. I don't think I need to. So now this should just. Now when you're pulling this up, kind of twist it, like rotate it a little bit back and forth, in case it's stuck, and just slowly lift up. And my camera just fell. All right, and it should come right up. So I found you don't have to take these connectors off. So just barely pulls out like that. There you go. Alright, now I'm going to go take the spark plug out. You need an extra long extender. So the hole is quite long. Alright, make sure you're going counterclockwise. There we go. Just want to be really careful here. This is an aluminum engine. Don't want to do anything bad. All right. There we go. One thing, um, you're going to have to be very careful about knocking dirt into that hole. Anything you knock down into that hole is going to go right inside your engine, so be careful. Oh, and you know what? This spark plug socket sucks. The good ones come with a little rubber boot inside there to, so it attaches to the spark plug so you can lift it out. This one, nothing. So I'm going to have to go get a locate one that will pull the spark plug out for me. And all else fails, magnetic pickup tool. Easy peasy. Dunk. There we go. Nice greasy ass spark plug. <laughs> a nasty. Ah, uh, let's see how's that tip. Oh, it's in pretty good shape. Hmm, that's a little cruddy. 
Cool. All right. Time to put the new guy in. New guys. NGK. That's uh, the same as same brand that OEM is. BKR6EIX-11. The iridium tip. So I there's different tips you can get, different types of iridium. Um, the tips go from thicker to thinner. Thinner ones supposedly give more perform better performance, but you get less miles out of them. So um, there's about three different grades, and I got um, the middle one. OEM uses the biggest electrode, so they last 100, 120,000 miles. So this one will last, I think, 60, maybe 80. So that's good enough for me that I try it out. All right, so I'm going to use... Um, okay, so now i got to drop, drop this in. So you're just going to very carefully drop that in. And, and this is very important. This first step, this first part, where the hell is my so, uh, so you have to do this by hand without the wrench. The reason is it's very easy to cross thread these because you can't actually touch it with your fingers. And if you cross thread it, it's going to be very hard to detect until it's too late if you have a wrench hooked up to it. So um, and if you cross thread it, you are screwed. You're going to have to, I would say you'd have to go to a mechanic and have them fix your engine for you. So I'm just going to carefully drop that down. You shouldn't feel any resistance in the beginning. And what I do is I turn it backwards a few turns just to make sure that it's straight. All right, now I'll just start turning it. Now it looks like I got it. And just keep spinning it. Yep, yeah, that squeaking is the threads getting tighter. All right. And that's good. So now it's finger tight. And they say you should tighten another quarter turn beyond that. So, so quart, I'll oh, start from over here. See, see it. All right. What? quarter turn. Boom, done. Oh, I just realized that, uh, yeah, all right. Cool, and just um, keep going down the line, and that's it. All right, so now that you got, got it spark plug tightened, I'm just gonna put this coil back on. Carefully, drops you right in. too easy. Something bad should have happened. <laughs> Always seems to be that way. Just put the nut back in. Oh, bolt. bolt. Just put the bolt back in. Spin it on. Tight and nice and snug, nothing, nothing major. All right, now just walk down the line and finish the rest, and you are good to go. Here's number two. Not bad, about the same as the first one. So I'm having a little trouble, uh, a little of a nuisance getting these boots back in. Um, the wires are very tight, so one little trick: get a, get your 10 millimeter. Right there. Just take that off. Put it in a 
that's in place. That will loosen up your wire lump just enough to work. Just enough to get everything fit in. Cool. So the last two here, um, they're part, they're attached to the same, the looms are tied together here. So you're actually gonna have to take them both out at the same time. Here's number three. Um, that one's a little wet inside. Hmm. Other than that, looks very similar to the other ones. Here's our last one. That one's a little wet too. I think that's oil, but I might have a. Might be getting um slow leak through my valve seals, but other than that, it looks good.